Take two. All right, so today what I'm going to talk about is actually an issue that's popped up on my laptop, I'm going to say, in the past few months. And really when it started happening, I had no idea what was actually causing it. What that actual issue is, is whenever there is an update, it doesn't necessarily go to either standby or even shut down all the way. And the way that I know this is, for some weird reason, the entire computer, if it's in standby when it actually decides to update when it's scheduled, uh, or if I just do an update, because I literally just did this the other day, the computer never really shuts down all the way. And what ends up happening is this light, which is actually your microphone light, which I usually keep off. So that's the reason why it's actually denoted by a uh, just a little bitty LED bulb underneath the keyboard there, stays on. Everything else goes off to include the screen, and the fans aren't running. So I know that even though it's powered down, it's still drawing power. It's really weird. So it's like it, it hangs. Now keep in mind, the way that I've configured my installs is generally it's the it's supposed to install and restart now i've monitored this a couple of times um, here recently just to see if i select you know the right thing i verify that i didn't select uh install and then shut down i select install and restart that it still does this so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to try to demonstrate it for you just so you can kind of see what it is i'm talking about so right now what i've done is i've pre-configured an install and right now it's just basically it's already downloaded the framework, I believe it was Windows, I forget which number, and it, it has already started doing the install, however, it needs time, or I should say it needs to be restarted in order for the install to complete. And this is where I'm running into issues. So, give me one moment, I'm going to refocus really quick here. I'm trying to focus on that button that actually stays illuminated, which is going to be over here. Okay, so, without further ado, I am going to jump over here, verify, and hopefully you can see this. I'm not using a screen recorder today just because I'm getting ready to restart the computer. So it would actually end up closing that out, shutting down. But what you can see here is there are three options, and I'll try to zoom in on the video. This is in 4K, so you should be able to see it. There's a sleep, update and shutdown, and update and restart. Now I've tried to do both of these in all actuality just to see if one works better than the other and they work about the same. So what I'm actually gonna do this time is I'm gonna select update and restart to see if it actually causes the same problem I've been talking about. So there we go. It's shutting everything down. Um, of course, configuring the updates. It's telling me not to turn anything off, which I'm not going to do. And we'll see if it comes back up. It's gonna be hilarious if this actually doesn't work, <laughs> but we will see, all right? So now it's shutting down, or supposedly restarting. But if you keep watching, you'll notice it's not really doing anything right now. Even though it should have been restarting, the, the keyboard is completely blank. Nothing is actually working. It is really, really odd. Uh, the one thing that I will tell you is normally what I do when I have this problem, I'll just hold this button down which actually causes it to completely shut down. So therefore, that light and this light will go off. And then I restart it. Generally, when I press the button to power it back up, it completes those uh, updates and everything works fine. My point is you should not have to do that. So I know that this is a problem uh, because once again, it doesn't work. It shouldn't work that way. Uh, hopefully someone that's watching this video may have had this same sort of issue and they found a a fix or a workaround for it. I have yet to at this point. So it's kind of a kind of a pain, a little inconvenient. Um, what I am going to tell you is it's not that big of a deal. It's probably a little more concerning in the event that it does cause a problem because now something didn't get installed and then there's an issue. But I haven't had that yet. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to continue to try to work on it to see if maybe I can kind of sort the issue myself. And then worst case scenario, it can be shipped back to Lenovo and they can try to work it out for me. Uh, prior to me doing that though, I will probably go through and uh, reinstall the operating system. I really don't want to do that, but I honestly think that if I send it back to them, they're probably gonna do a fresh install also if they can't fix it. 
So I could just do that myself and see if I can sort it. But now you can see it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down this button. If you can't tell, hopefully you can see on the video that this button is still illuminated, okay, as well as the mic button. So give me one moment. I had something in my hand. So right here, it's still illuminated, and this button is illuminated. So what I'm going to do is hold this down, and then eventually you'll see it power down. By the way, the fans are not running. The computer is actually off. And you know what? I take it back. That button, I don't think it actually was illuminated. That one was actually off. But this one, you can see it went out. So now I'm turning it back on. So there you go. So yeah, the only one that was illuminated was actually this one. So I misspoke. But I think I initially said that to begin with. Um, you'll see it boot back up. And hopefully everything should work fine. Uh, the install or the things that I actually decided to install on the laptop, they were uh, recommended installs. And let's just see. See, it appears to boot up fine. Um, at this point, I have no idea why it is doing this. It doesn't really make a whole heck of a lot of sense to me. Once again, I'll still try to work on it. And of course, I monitor a lot of the forums and stuff just to see if maybe someone else experiences the same issue, who knows, maybe start a thread or something to kind of figure this, this out. Um, it appears that everything installed fine here. If I actually go down, actually, let me just do this. So check for updates. And I'm up to date. Last check was actually nine because I keyed it up last night or queued it up last night. Uh, it's just really weird that this thing doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. What I will show you also is restart actually works okay. Now, hopefully it does that for the video just because it would be funny if it does start doing something different now that I'm recording. I don't think that it actually will. So, yeah, this is kind of where I'm at with this thing. Um, it's not that big of a deal for me right now, but I definitely want to try to get it sorted, hopefully prior to getting to the point where I need to send it back. And who knows, maybe it is just this laptop that has an issue. Um, I do know that before I even get to the point where I'm going to ship anything back, I'm going to set everything back to, to factory. And that also includes taking out any of the updates that I've done uh, just to see if I can get it to occur again. But as you can see, it just restarted fine. And yeah, that didn't happen the first time. So that's it. If you have any questions about this or anything else on the channel, feel free to, to chime in. Like I said, I think this is still a great laptop. Uh, this is the first issue I've had with it and hopefully there won't be any more. So let me just go ahead and reboot or really. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully there's nothing else that comes of this, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Or like I said, if you still want to, if you want to chime in and give some help, I would appreciate that as well. We can even start a discussion thread inside of the video comments here just to try to get this sorted. Uh, so that's it. Agent Fitch signing out.